Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones Jones. And I am back with another video for you yeah, head top. What is going on, everybody? Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. As you guys can see, I'm feeling great because if you have not seen my unboxing of the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0s, you missed out on some very important news. But don't worry, of course, I'm gonna relay that message in this video because this is the official review video. I will be linking up with Hibbit Sports to do a giveaway for the amount of 250 of them things. Now guys, I'm very, very excited to do this because this was something I wanted to do to give back to you guys. We hit 50K recently, the road to 100K is still strong. And I just wanted to thank you guys for helping me reach that milestone because this platform is nothing without you guys. So with that being said, I made it super, super easy for everybody to apply to the giveaway. The rules are as such. First, of course, you have to follow me on Instagram, Follow Hibbit Sports on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. I will be checking all three of these. And last but not least, comment Snipe Squad under this photo and just tag two people. So once again, it's very, very easy. Follow me on Instagram, Hibbit Sports on Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. Comment done under this photo and tag two people or comment snipe squad i'm sorry now it's very important i have to tell you guys please make sure your instagram page is are not private please because i cannot check your credentials and see if you're following people and and seeing if you're doing everything right if your page is private if it's blocked I cannot check it. So if you hiding from your baby moms or, or you you doing stuff on the low, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. All I'm asking you to do is just to leave it unprivate for a few days until the raffle is over with. And if you win, bro, I got you. But it's so many times I've done giveaways on this channel and the page is blocked and I, I can't check the credentials, bro. I can't just give you whatever I'm giving away if I don't know that you actually went through with it. So I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully a lot of you guys participate and I will be doing a lot more giveaways in the future so very very quickly before we get the video started guys i wanted to give a huge shout out to soul premise now soul premise is the most premier bag company in the sneaker community i've been wearing their bags for almost a year and a half now man that's crazy time really flies this bag in particular is a bag from the homie this is unbreakable kicks and actual soul premise collab bag and i've had it for a while man but i still got it in the plastic i've been so busy running around I really haven't got a chance to check it out, but we all know the homie break favorite color is blue and they decided to go with a nice luxury premium bag. Now this is one of those bags that pretty much carries like four or five pair of sneakers. It holds like your laptop. It holds stuff right here in the bottom compartment. It has like different compartments here on the front. Anytime I go to sneaker con, I have about a weekend's worth of clothes in this bag and the coolest part about it is it's TSA approved it can go right above your overhead bin so you never have to pay that money for extra luggage now I know a lot of you guys are probably either saving money or you're not really worried about travel right now with the pandemic going on but what I can tell you is you need to hop on these bags as soon as possible because they sell out super super fast now I do have a discount code on there I will link it down below but I'm also saying out loud you guys can use snipe squad to get I believe it's 30% off your purchases and just like any other discount code usage if you use my discount code and if you DM it to me on Instagram or Twitter I will shout you out because I mean you're looking out for me because you using my discount code helps me out a lot at the end of the day so guys make sure you check our soul premise they have huge bags like this that holds a lot of stuff and they also have smaller bags they even got like the man bags they even have toiletry bags they have just about everything and the quality is always a1 and i've been wearing them for about a while now actually it's the only bag that i'll act even wear okay now that's out the way guys without further ado let's get to the reason why we're all here today the air jordan one court purple 2.0 Hi yeah, as you guys see, they did keep the original Air Jordan 1 box. Nothing fancy about this, it's the regular black and red box, and also my size, size 12. Y'all know the vibe. Hey, let's see what these things looking like. I already did do uh, a comparison video between these and the Court Purple OG that I do have in my collection as well. I might bring those back out for a quick second, but you know, I know a lot of people probably already seen that. I don't even know what I just did with that box, but that's not the point. Here we have it, man, the Air Jordan 1 Court Purple 2.0. As I said in my last video, the material on these are not as good to me as the original version, but I do like the colorway as a whole. I feel like this white, this purple, this black is a way cleaner cut feel. I also said, like, for my people who didn't watch the video, it really, really reminded me of the Air Jordan 1 Game Royal. The only difference I would say in the shoe is just the blue and the purple colorway. That's about it. 
but they're technically the same shoe. If you have the game Royal and you're wondering what the court purple quality feels like, it's the same exact quality and almost the same exact shoe other than the color swap of the Air Jordan 1 game Royal. Now I do have to be honest, whenever I'm talking about leather quality, it has a lot to do with like the tumbleness of the leather, how plush it is, how soft it is. And I often get a lot of comments of people telling me like that's not the real way to basically, you know, tell you if the leather is good or bad. Hey, listen, you probably right. All right. I'm not a leatherologist. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I know um, 30 different types of leathers. What I can say is my preference when I wear Jordan 1 or, or when I actually am looking for leather quality on sneakers, I do like the tumble. I do like the plush feel. I do love like when a toe box, you can press it down and it just pops back and it's like nice, soft leather. Now, whether that's the best leather or the worst leather, I'm not here to debate that. I'm just talking about my personal preference. Those are the sneakers that I tend to like most. So, I mean, it is what it is. But guys, without further ado, let's check out this shoe and get a better in-depth review you and uh see if anybody's rocking with these or not once again guys these will be releasing april 11 for the retail price of 170 dollars and they will be only online as we all know the epidemic is still here and very strong so there is no going in stores for these man and the to be honest the want for this shoe is up there this is not one of those sneakers where people don't care about that people don't want I'm hearing a lot of people saying they want to get their hand on these. And in my opinion, this is the best Air Jordan release so far. Other than like the, I mean, you had like the uh, Air Jordan 1, Chicago, uh, UNC. I didn't really like those. Of course, you had like the Air Jordan 1 Off-White UNC 5. Those are fire, but it's a collab. When it comes to just like straight Air Jordan brand, I think this is the best release so far. I mean, this has not been the best year, 2020 so far with everything going on. But in my opinion, I think these are the best so far. But we're gonna start off with the outer sole, guys. The outer sole is completely dominated in that court purple. Definitely give me like some Lakers vibes. I'm not gonna hold you. Moving up to the midsole, it's your basic all white, nice midsole. Usually Air Jordan choose to go with the sale midsoles. But in my opinion, I think they definitely did a great job with just keeping it classic, keeping it white and keeping it very, very simple. Moving up to the toe box, as you guys see, it does have the purple going around the toe cap of the sneaker. As I told you guys earlier, the material around the toe cap is not that soft plush leather that I really like that myself, the ones that I really brag upon. It's more of a stiff, uh, more harder leather. You know what I'm saying? Not saying the quality is good or bad because of it, but I'm just describing it as it is. Now going to the toe box, the toe box is soft, but it's not as soft and plush either as the original court purple. It's a little bit more stiff and it does not have that that thick tumble that we usually see on a lot of Air Jordan 1s. Of course, they have that perforated toe box. Moving on to the side panel of the shoe, you get your Nike swoosh right along the side panel. The side panel is white, and that is not as tumbled as the original court purple either. The original court purple definitely has some tumbleness along this side panel. They decided to not use that in this release, and I do like the fact that this right here, right? The side panel is purple and not black. That is why I choose this shoe over the court purple original when it comes to color blocking because I feel like this shoe is just a lot more smoother. On the ankle, of course, you get your Air Jordan 1 wing. It's a staple in the Air Jordan 1 community. Everybody knows the Air Jordan 1 wing when you see it. Moving on to the tongue, you get all white tongue and of course it's a black and purple nike air logo right there on the tongue as always and the back heel of the sneaker is not that soft uh cushioning leather either like i said the best way to compare this shoe if you have the game royal there it is okay the quality is the exact same but all over i really do like this shoe very simple i said in my last video if there's any ravens fans out there you got your air jordan one this is completely ravens all up and down man i'm a browns fan myself so i can't really be repping that like that i will be lacing these up throwing them on foot to show you guys how they look they did come with a pair of spare laces which the purple but i'm gonna keep the black ones in just for the purpose of the video i'm not gonna swap them out on my personal time i might give it a shot but i'm about to step out throw these on and be right back see you guys in a second
right, guys, before we get up out of here, I have to tell you about Reshuvenator. As you guys can see, they decided to rebrand the entire brand. The brand is different. The colorway is different. The packaging is different. The website is completely different. They did a 100% makeover over at Reshuvenator. Anybody doesn't know about Reshuvenator, guys, I will link them down below, but it is the best premier sneaker care in the business. Now, this shoe is white and purple. It is a court purple Air Jordan 1, and believe me, it will get dirty extremely fast. Now, what I like to do whenever I wear any of my sneakers, what I like to do the day before, this right here is called the Rejuvenator Water Stain Repellent Spray. It's very, very easy to use. And I like to do this, like I said, before I throw on my sneakers because you gotta let them sit for a while. So, you shake it up, you spray it on top of the sneaker, and you let it sit for about six hours. After that, the shoe is almost damage proof. I know you guys seen viral videos of people pouring ketchup mustard coffee and it's just rolling off the top and you're just wiping it off and it's like it's never been there before so i highly suggest that you guys check out rejuvenator and check out the water stain repellent for shoes like this that's just got that clean crisp white to it and you want to protect it and make sure that it stays a1 and stays looking great on top of that they got a lot of other stuff on the website in order to prevent your shoes from being dirty or cleaning them when they are you can also use my discount code sniper i will link them down below in the description as well if you do buy anything with the link down below let me know and i will shout you out on the gram to send me like a screenshot and i will shout you out but i mean that just about wraps it up for the air jordan one core purple i'm very satisfied with how they came out and i will be rocking mine very very soon i appreciate you guys for watching make sure you are a part of the hibbit sports gift card giveaway away $250 to a lucky contestant winner make sure you remember the rules I did post the rules on my Instagram as well until next time it is your boy Sniper Jones and you know I cannot leave without saying everybody want to be famous but we're really putting in that work though Snipe Squad I love y'all dream big